Hey, beautiful friend. I've got a gorgeous new crochet shawl pattern to show you today, and it comes with a matching hat. This unique design by Janica Carter is called Accretion, and today I'll be showing you how to make this shawl. You can download this pattern at expressionfiberarts.com or check the description box for the link. While on the site, go ahead and sign up for email updates so you will get news of our new free patterns that we put out nearly every week. So accretion is a process of growth or increase, like the gradual accumulation of something, which I think is just perfect for this shawl because you start here on this side and you build it bit by bit. And over time, you end up with this sumptuous shawl with a really gorgeous texture. It's like life. You might think your actions don't amount to much, but day by day, bit by bit, it all adds up to make something really beautiful. A really cool thing about this pattern, just like waves lapping on the shore, Janica added this fun little wavy border to the shawl to give it that extra little bit of pop. This shawl was made in our Seacoast Fingering Cotton yarn, which is light and wavy like the sea, and it is a cooler yarn, so it's great for warmer temperatures or layering. The colors are limited edition, so you wanna go ahead and order enough to complete your project. And if you do prefer to knit, check out our video from last week where we showed off a gorgeous new knit sweater design using this yarn base called Riptide. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial today. All the details for this pattern, like the hook size, the color changes, are gonna be in the pattern PDF for you. Let's go ahead and start with row one of the body of the shawl. For row one, I'm gonna pop my slip knot onto my hook and you're gonna work eight foundation single crochets. Start with a chain two, and go ahead and insert, insert your hook into that first chain and pull up a loop. Now we're gonna create a chain, yarn over, pull through one. Now create a single crochet with a yarn over, pull through two. Now go ahead and turn your little piece to the side and you're gonna insert your hook under both legs right there along the edge, yarn over and pull through. Now create a chain, yarn over, pull through one, and create a single crochet, yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna continue repeating that until we have eight of those. So turn to the side, insert your hook under both legs, and pull up a loop. Create a chain with a yarn over, pull through one, and create a single crochet with a yarn over, pull through two. So we now have three, so we're gonna continue on. Turn to the side, un insert under both legs, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. This is a really great stretchy start to your project. Make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go ahead and start row two. And that begins with a chain one. Now you're gonna single crochet into the first single crochet. Now double crochet into the next stitch. Then single crochet into the next. Then double into the next stitch, double crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. And we're just alternating across the row. Double crochet. Single crochet and finish off with a double crochet. And you should have eight stitches. So go ahead and count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's turn and work row three, which is an increase row. You're gonna start with a chain one, and you're gonna work into this first stitch, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. So single, double, and single. Then you work across your row, double crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that all the way across so double crochet into the next single crochet single crochet into the next double crochet double crochet into the next single single into the next double and then finish off your row with a double crochet into that final stitch. And we've increased by two stitches, so you should have 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Now for row four, you're gonna chain one and turn, of course. And you're gonna single crochet into the first double crochet. Now you're gonna double into the next single. So double crochet into the next single crochet. Single crochet into the next double. And we're gonna repeat that all the way across. Double crochet into the next single crochet. Single in the double. Double in the single. Single in the double. We're gonna finish off with double crochet single into the double crochet here and this is very important you want to make sure and get that final double crochet in here on the edge it's really easy to skip but you don't want to skip it or your shawl might not be the right shape now for rows 5 through 64 you're just going to repeat rows 3 and 4 30 more times this pattern is so meditative it's simple and easy to memorize but you have to pay just enough attention to make sure that you're working the correct stitch and the correct row. So it's very soothing while also being really engaging. Check out this gorgeous texture. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here so I can show you how to work rows 65 through 100, but your shawl, of course, is gonna be much bigger at this point. Okay, for row 65, start with a chain one, and you're gonna begin with a single crochet into that first double crochet, and then a double crochet into the single crochet, then a single into the double, and you have this memorized by now. You're just working double crochets into the singles and single crochets into the doubles all the way across. Now we work some decrease rows to start narrowing the shape of the shawl. For row 101, you're gonna start with a chain one and then work a single crochet decrease across the first two stitches. To do that, insert your yarn and pull up a loop. Insert into the second stitch and pull up a loop. Then you yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's a single crochet decrease. Now we're gonna do a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Yarn over and insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And when you have three loops on your hook, you're gonna go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook for a double crochet decrease. Then we continue along our row as usual. Single crochet into the next double crochet. Double crochet into the next single crochet and repeat all the way across. All right, so let's now go ahead and work row 102. You're gonna turn and work a chain one, and you're gonna single crochet into the first double crochet, double crochet in the next single crochet, and just repeat all the way across. Same thing as we've been doing throughout the body of the shawl. Now for rows 103 to 162, you're just gonna repeat rows 101 and 102 30 times. Now when you have done all of that and you have gotten down to eight stitches, here's how you work the final row. For row 163, you're gonna start with a chain one and you're just gonna work a single crochet into each stitch across. Three, four, five, six, seven and eight and done so you have now finished the body of the shawl and it's time to set up some stitch markers so you can work the beautiful wavy border you're going to start by folding your shawl in half and you're not going to have this wavy border yet that's what we're about to work then to place your first stitch marker you're going to go along this increase edge here and you're going to place a marker right in the center of your shawl then you're going to open up your shawl and lay it out flat now we're gonna go ahead and put seven stitch markers on each side of the shawl equally spaced. And to get the spacing right, I just like to lay them out at first until they look equally far apart from each other. You're also gonna go ahead and place seven stitch markers equally spaced on the other side of your shawl as well. 
and make sure that you're not putting stitch markers on the end. And go ahead and get those nice and evenly spaced. When you do feel confident that they're equally spaced, go ahead and mark those stitches with your stitch markers. Then you're gonna work 17 single crochets into each section for a total of 272 stitches along this edge and then you're gonna be set up to work your border. Now let's go ahead and work row one of the border. So here's my little miniature version. I'm gonna pick up 29 stitches along this curvy border. You're gonna pick up 272 along your curvy border, evenly spaced. To do that, just grab your next color and you're just gonna grab it with your hook, pull it right through and you're ready to go ahead and get started picking up your stitches. To pick up your stitches, just insert your hook along the edge of your shawl and just work a single crochet. Go ahead and work your next one. And this is why you placed all of those stitch markers so you can make sure you're getting 17 single crochets between each stitch marker. So that way they're all nice and evenly spaced along the edge of your shawl. For row two, you're gonna start with a chain three, two, three, which counts as a double crochet. Then you're gonna work into the back loops only. So you got two little loops here on your stitches. Here's the front and here's the back. So we're gonna be working into the back loops only for this row. You're gonna double crochet into the first single crochet. Back loop only. Then you're gonna work two double crochets into each of the next two stitches one, two in the next stitch, and then one, two into that next stitch. Now you're gonna skip the next stitch. So skip this one and work a double crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that so that we have five of those. So skip one stitch and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, work a double crochet into the next stitch. Skip, double crochet, skip, double crochet. And make sure you have done that five times, three, four, five. Now you're gonna skip the next single crochet and work two double crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna do that six times. There's one and two. Now skip the next one and work two double crochets into the next. One and two. Skip the next. Two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. Skip two double crochets. One, two. So we've now done that four times, so let's do it two more times. Skip, two double crochets. Skip, two double crochets. And you're gonna repeat that across your row. When you do get to the end and you only have four stitches left, you're gonna skip that next stitch and work two double crochets into each of the final three stitches. So there's one, two, one, and two. And then finish it off with a one and two. Now we're gonna work row three, so let's work a chain one and turn. And now this row, we're gonna work in both loops. So you'll insert your hook under both loops for each stitch. You're just gonna work a single crochet into the first double crochet and into each double crochet across. Nice, easy row. When you do come to the end of your row and you get to that final stitch, let me show you how to change colors. You do wanna make sure you work into that final, final edge stitch. You're gonna start your single crochet, but you're not gonna finish it in your old color, you're gonna finish it in your new color. 
So that completes this row in the old color and you're set up and ready to work the new row with your new color. For rows four through 19 of the border, you're just gonna repeat rows two and three eight times. And if you like, you can go ahead and work a border all the way around your shawl in single crochets. So there you have it, my friend, a stunning, flowing crochet shawl that will remind you that everything you do matters. Everything you do makes a difference. Every kind deed matters and adds to the whole. You go out and soak up this incredible gift of a day and don't let anybody get you down. Go out and live your best, most amazing life. All right, my beautiful friend, I'm gonna see you next week with a new tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I'm so kissy today.